Welcome to our Bible study series by HelpfulScripture.com. In this video, we review the 10 most relevant Bible verses about God is love. If you want to study this topic more, then be sure to click the link below to our website. Our website, HelpfulScripture.com, has many more passages on this topic, and hundreds of additional topics. Also, if you want to share the Bible with others, then click the like button and share this video with your friends. Now let's get started. Passage number 1. The first verse on the subject of God is love is 1 John chapter 4, verses 7 through 12. It says, Beloved, let's love one another, for love is of God, and everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. He who doesn't love doesn't know God, for God is love. By this God's love was revealed in us, that God has sent his only born Son into the world that we might live through him. In this is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us, and sent his Son as the atoning sacrifice for our sins. Beloved, if God loved us in this way, we also ought to love one another. No one has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God remains in us, and his love has been perfected in us. Passage number 2. The second verse in our study of God is love is found in 1 John chapter 4, verses 16 through 21. It says, We know and have believed the love which God has for us. God is love, and he who remains in love remains in God, and God remains in him. In this, love has been made perfect among us, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, even so we are in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear has punishment. He who fears is not made perfect in love. We love him, because he first loved us. If a man says, I love God, and hates his brother, he is a liar, for he who doesn't love his brother whom he has seen, how can he love God whom he has not seen? This commandment we have from him, that he who loves God should also love his brother. Passage number 3. For our third verse, we turn in our Bible to John chapter 3, verses 16 through 18. It reads, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only born Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God didn't send his Son into the world to judge the world, but that the world should be saved through him. He who believes in him is not judged. He who doesn't believe has been judged already, because he has not believed in the name of the only born Son of God. Passage number 4. This is from Romans chapter 5, verses 6 through 11. The scripture says, For while we were yet weak, at the right time Christ died for the ungodly. For one will hardly die for a righteous man. Yet perhaps for a good person someone would even dare to die. But God commends his own love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more then, being now justified by his blood, we will be saved from God's wrath through him. For if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his Son, much more, being reconciled, we will be saved by his life. Not only so, but we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received the reconciliation. Passage number 5. The fifth verse is from Romans chapter 8, verses 35 through 39. The Bible says, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Could oppression, or anguish, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? Even as it is written, for your sake we are killed all day long. We were accounted as sheep for the slaughter. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing will be able to separate us from God's love which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Congratulations. You've made it halfway through our study. So let's pause here for a moment. I want to remind you again that if you want to study this topic more, then be sure to visit the link in the description below. The link will take you to our website, helpfulscripture.com, where you can study more Bible verses on the subject of God is love, and hundreds of other topics. Now let's continue our study on God is love. Passage number 6 is from Matthew chapter 22, verses 36 through 40. It says, Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. 
A second likewise is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. Passage number 7. The seventh verse is found in John chapter 15, verses 12 through 13. The Bible says, This is my commandment, that you love one another, even as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. Passage number 8. The eighth verse on the subject of God is love is from Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 through 5. It reads, You were made alive when you were dead in transgressions and sins, in which you once walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit who now works in the children of disobedience. We also all once lived among them in the lusts of our flesh, doing the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, even as the rest. But God, being rich in mercy, for his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead through our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved. Passage number 9. Our ninth verse is from 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 through 8. The passage states, Love is patient and is kind. Love doesn't envy. Love doesn't brag, is not proud, doesn't behave itself inappropriately, doesn't seek its own way is not provoked, takes no account of evil, doesn't rejoice in unrighteousness, but rejoices with the truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never fails. But where there are prophecies, they will be done away with. Where there are various languages, they will cease. Where there is knowledge, it will be done away with. Passage number 10. Our tenth and final verse on the subject of God is love is from John chapter 13, verses 34 through 35. It says, A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also love one another. By this everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. This concludes our Bible study on the topic of God is love. If you want to study this topic more, then click the link below to visit our website where we have many more Bible verses related to God is love and hundreds of other Bible subjects. Also, remember to like the video and share it with your friends on social media to help spread the gospel. Thanks again for listening and God bless.